Obviously, as someone that runs a whole channel that's built around streaming devices and movie TV show apps, the most common question I get, what is a free app where I can get IPTV and TV shows and movies? And then after somebody asks that question, I then get 50 a-holes that spam their WhatsApp number trying to sell you their shitty service. So I gotta roll up the old sleeves and take these guys to school and show you one of the top free streaming apps for your Fire Stick and Video Shield Android box. You can get it on the mall. We're gonna go through the install method. It's gonna be quick, easy, efficient, and it's gonna be a pretty great app. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And like always, for the first hour to two hours, I answer all of your questions down below. So drop me a line and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna get into this install guide and it's pretty quick and easy. I'll show you a few different methods. So before we go any further, just hit that thumbs up button, guys. It really helps out the channel. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing we have to do is access developer option on our Fire TV stick. This is the same on your Nvidia Shield and some Android boxes as well. Um, so you can follow these exact same steps. So head over to settings and go to the My Fire TV section. You can then go to the About section. Now you see I have developers options. You might not have that. Click on About and then on Fire TV Stick 4K or whatever it says on yours, it might say 2K, I don't know. Click it four to five times, you will become a developer. This is the same method for NVIDIA Shield and other devices. However, you might have to click on something called build type, but it's very similar. Um, and sometimes you have to unlock developers options. From here, you can go in here and we wanna turn on apps from unknown sources. This means we can now install third-party Android applications, right? They just wanna create that barrier to make it a little bit harder. And then also to protect you if you don't want things installed on it. So I, I do think it's an important feature. So we're gonna click back to our home button and we're gonna to go to the app store and we need to install our favorite browser app. And what is the name of that? Go ahead, say it with me, Downloader. So D-O-W-N-L-O-A-D-E-R, click on that. It's gonna bring you to the orange app with the arrow down, click on that. You can install it, it takes a few seconds and then you'll be at this next step which we now have to enter my code. Now this brings you directly to my download section and that is 773820. This brings you directly to my uh, upgradeguide.com website. It's just a quick shortcut. It makes things a tiny bit faster than having to uh, type in upgradeguide.com slash downloads, which would take a little bit longer. Now, when you're here, the first thing I suggest you're doing, you do is go to the top here, click on the three horizontal lines, and then scroll down and click on add current page to favorites. This way you can always go back to your favorites on this sidebar over here, click on it, and you will have my download section available instead of needing the code, trying to remember it or having to uh, install it again. Now you're gonna find a lot of goodies on my website, but you wanna scroll down until you find free live TV and VODs. And today we're gonna be installing Freevee TV. So it's gonna redirect you to this page, click on that download link. This is gonna take you to APK Mirror. Now I've used them a lot in the past and I find it a pretty reliable source for APKs. And we're just gonna to have to scroll down and find the recent download link. I'll show you how to do that. Now you're gonna to wanna to scroll down and I just look for the most recent APK. So I find this one from August 24th and we can go ahead and click the little download icon right here. And you might have to close a few ads. It's a website, you always have to. And then scroll down and we wanna find the download APK option and click on that. It should then prompt your download right away and you can go ahead and install it. Now, I don't always get you to go to APK mirror, but it depends on if I always have the files updated or not. Um, and sometimes it's just easier. So go ahead and click install here. If you have a prompt asking you to allow downloads, do that as well. So you'll now have Freevee TV in your apps. Now you're gonna notice a few things. I'm gonna start with thing number one. You can see I already had it up on this scroll bar. That's because my Fire Stick is set to the US and people in the US have it pre-installed. Now with Freevee TV in the US, you're gonna get some different content. And if you change your location to Canada, the US people will also get different content as well. I'm gonna go over that feature in a little bit. But yes, if you're in the US, you probably already have it pre-installed or you can find it in the App Store. However, I find if I'm not in the lo right location, it actually doesn't work for me for whatever reason. So installing the version that I'm showing you how to do, if you're in Canada or the UK or anywhere else in the world, this method will work for you. Although changing your location might not because it's just being a little iffy. So what we have to do now is we need to be able to access it because it still shows our location as Canada. And that's an issue because 
Amazon doesn't like Canadians, right? So you're going to get some sort of content uh, freebie unexpected error, uh, which means you're not going to be able to access it. So how do we solve this? We need to go to find again and we need to go to the app store and install ExpressVPN. You can also use any free VPN. However, those are a lot iffier. Um, ExpressVPN is the one I use, the one I promote. It's up to you if you want to use it. It is an option. Click on that. You can install it. And now once you're inside, you're going to have to log in. You can go ahead and set your location to anywhere in the world. I'm going to set it to the US in this instance because we need to access it. Now, if you don't have a uh, ExpressVPN subscription and you want to get one, you can click on the link down below in the video right now. that will bring you to my discount page, 49% uh, off. And there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can always get your money back. You can cancel within 30 days, get 100% of your purchase back. No questions asked. Uh, one of my favorite parts about ExpressVPN. Uh, and I get a kickback, so it's a great way to support me. And I'm gonna show you the benefits right here as well. So let's kick, click that home button. We're now gonna go back to our good friend, FreeVTV. We wanna find it. We wanna click it. We need to restart it first. So we're gonna exit. And now, moment of truth. We're here. So with Freebie TV, you can sign in um, with Amazon, or you can see in this bottom corner, you can watch as a guest, which is what we're going to do because that's what we're about. Now, the good part is Freebie TV has a ton of content. Okay. You have your home section, which is just full of great recommendations, actual good shows, actual good movies. If you're in Canada or the UK and you don't have this, you need to follow this guide and get it. If you're anywhere else in the world, I know I always say Canada and the UK, that's because that's where a lot of my subscribers are fun, from, you need to get this, okay? It is well, well worth it. This is one of the best hidden secrets of uh, US streaming apps by far. Um, so getting a VPN is a small price to pay and you use that for a lot of different things, right? So this wouldn't be the only reason you get it. Uh, they have a huge live TV library that Amazon seemingly keeps uh, uh, adding to as they continue to buy more and more companies. So you get tons of those different like show channels where you get a lot of shows in a row, like 24 seven shows, uh, a ton and ton of different uh, content. There's comedy, there is horror, there's court TV, reality TV, uh, movies, shows, all that good stuff, sports sometimes. So there's a lot of different content you can access uh, just from this live TV section. And then of course we have movies which gives you access to just the movies. And it's kind of surprising how many of them are actually really good movies. Movie of the Month, Fast 9, Jurassic World. Like, I don't even think uh, Netflix has some of these. You know what I mean? Uh, and it, the reason is, is because Amazon owns Prime Video. They now own Freebie. So they're able to feed into it and actually offer good content that people would want to watch, which, you know, when people want to watch good content, they're, they're going to find a way to watch it. Um, so tons and tons of good stuff. And the last one is TV. Now, obviously signing in as, um, a user is going to give you uh, a little few more features such as saving your shows and movies. Uh, the TV section isn't great. They have Bosch, which is good, but otherwise there's actually not much Magnum PI, like some older stuff, but the movies I actually thought were really good. They also have Alex Ryder, which is kind of cool. That's a freebie original. Wasn't that first? Oh, it's a move. What? That's kind of cool. I wonder if they just called it that because they own the rights. Now, as in terms of settings, there's not much you can do. You can delete your data. You can have your play, uh, playing preference and then also parental controls. But it's not like 2B where you have a really crazy parental control option. Now, if you're in the US and you're like, well, why would I get that VPN you recommended? Well, remember, no matter what app you're using, except for Freebie in this case, you can change your location to any of these other countries. Yes, yes, American other countries exist and you can change it to france mexico switzerland india and get content on any of those apps you use from other countries including netflix and all that other good stuff so it is well well worth it if you've never checked out australian netflix you're missing out so that's everything from today's video guys thank you so much for checking it out hit that thumbs up button one more time before we go see you guys later